So it's time for the second of our three finalists in the master's category, also from the Department of Anthropology. Welcome, Kimberly Ryfogel. Kimberly. <laughs> think of when someone reminds you of your grade school history class. For most people, these are not inspiring memories, maybe a teacher droning on about some old war. Now think about when you see or even hold a historical artifact. They make history feel so much more real and give us a solid connection to the people of the past. Archaeologists dig up artifacts to get more information and that physical connection to the diverse people of the past. But usually, artifacts that have been dug up are falling apart, and they need some sort of conservation so that future generations can get that same experience that we do. But artifact conservation is really complicated. Conservators do their best to stabilize artifacts by filling in the spaces that have rotted away with something else. One way is through silicone polymerization, which basically means they fill the artifact with a silicone plastic. This is really effective, but it's also irreversible. And unfortunately, sometimes even conserved artifacts start developing new problems. One problem is sometimes submerged wood can start generating sulfuric acid, which is the same acid found in most car batteries. So if you felt like that sounded bad, it is. The iron left over from nails in the wood reacts with sulfur, which comes from the water, to generate the acid, and it only gets worse over time. This can happen even with really unique artifacts, like this 17th century gun carriage from the La Belle Rack. La Belle was a French ship intended to colonize the mouth of the Mississippi. Instead, it sank off the coast of Texas. So it's really important for understanding and connecting with the early colonial history of Texas. But even though the gun carriage and other artifacts were treated with the silicone plastic, they've still been deteriorating for 15 years, and it's only getting worse. So what do you do when you have an irreversible conservation method and an artifact that's still degrading? Because usually, you would undo the conservation so that you could get to the iron and remove it so it can't react with the sulfur anymore. In this case, you can't do that. So that's where my research comes in. I used samples and tried a couple of different common iron-removing chemicals to see if any of them could do the job, and found that actually one of them was able to remove the iron from around the plastic without damaging that plastic or the wood, which means that can be used to save the gun carriage and other artifacts like it. Now that we have a way to prevent that sulfuric acid from forming, hopefully we can save this and many other artifacts so that future generations of children and adults can get that same physical connection that's so important for getting history. Thank you.